I suddenly realized then when I look back in my life that there was a, my life had been cultivated, if you like, spiritually cultivated to be able to handle what we're seeing. And for my role in this, that was another thing. You see, we, we can all talk about spirituality and you quote this person, that person, but you know what really cements spirituality in a person? Your experiences. And I had a number of supernatural experiences that, that it made it. Mm. For example, lots of people who know my channel, who, who know episodes one to three, they're all aware of the weird supernatural events that, that, in, that actually got me from lockdown curfew in Melbourne to Sydney. I got on a bus. To, 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 let me put it to you like this. Bro, this is absolutely brilliant. You know, I, I just had I just had a great idea. Like, I actually want to have a bonus section, and like, I want to wind this thing right. down. But I really want to hear about this. So, th just from right. this point here, I'm actually gonna um have this as the bonus right. section for the for the, I, I just started a Patreon account. But let's go into this, bro. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, freaks and geeks, if you want to hear about Jim uh spiritual experiences that shaped his uh worldview, be sure to check out the uh, the extra footage. But, bro, the floor is yours. Let's let's go into it. And Jamithi, I know you know where this is going, but perhaps just to wind, th wind things down, where do you see things going over the next few years? How do you picture the future based off of the knowledge that you've accumulated? Paint us a picture for the world, Australia, <laughs> over the next couple of years, and uh, perhaps what we can do to perhaps combat this, uh, this insanity. Wow, I wish you didn't ask me that question. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but... I think uh, uh, what, I, what I will say is my, my advice to everyone is this. First and foremost, be resilient. Push back away. As, do everything you can do to push back from the, the coercion. The second thing that I would say is this. Make yourself self-sufficient. We've got a window of opportunity all over the world. Um, exactly how much how, in terms of months that is. I couldn't tell you, but there's a window of opportunity for which you can do things like look at your um, your, your 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 sustenance. You know, ha look at your dependency on supermarket chains, and think about why not be dependent upon yourself growing things. Okay, um, energy consumption. Ever thought about getting yourself a, a, a generator or even a solar generator? Um, water supply, water filtration. Start thinking about ways with which you can make yourself so not dependent. And for one reason, because they, they've built into this a denial of service apparatus whereby, you know, coercion is by denying you services. Well, listen, if you're so sufficient, whereby, you know, it doesn't matter what they deny you, you can provide that for yourself anyway, you're less likely to fold and, 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 and you know, uh, take the bait and, 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 and fall for the jab. So that, that's really where we are. There's a lot of people who were told, Chris and myself, I'm not taking the jab, I'm not taking the jab, mm -hmm. for sure. But when you ask them, well, what preparations have you done to mitigate all the um coercive attempts to get you to take the jab and he said well well i've done nothing mm -hmm. dude the first thing they listen people have already fallen at the first hurdle which is um if you don't get a jab you can't travel so, oh yeah, well, I better get the jab then. I, I, I spoke to I spoke to an ex-girlfriend, Polish girl, and she said to me, um, well, I have to travel. So vaccine was was, was so vaccination wasn't pushing back on the vaccine was not an option. I have to travel. First hurdle. For some people, it'll be um, well, you're not allowed to go to the supermarkets. Oh damn, I didn't stock up on food. I'm gonna have to take the jab then. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is try and make yourself as self-sufficient as possible so you can push back. 
eventually though it will come down to your conviction absolutely it may come down to that i just want to because your food will run out this and that will run out that and that will run out (laughs) do you know what i mean You won't work it, don't make the press, you won't make it.